Hello and good evening everyone. This is Engineer Ramanullah, your course instructor for project planning and controlling. In today's topic, we will discuss about uh, uh, representation of our schedule in different ways. And after that, we will also uh, discuss about uh, how we can uh, maintain baseline and how we can assign baseline to our schedule. So, uh, representation of schedule, we can uh, represent it uh, in uh, different ways. Uh, one of which is uh, a milestone chart. Milestone chart, we use this uh, 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 representation when we are reporting to higher management because higher management uh, don't have that much time to go deep into the schedule. Uh, they just want to know about uh, what milestones were set and uh, where are we uh, uh, we are lagging of these milestones or we are uh, progressing ahead of the schedule. So they uh, just want to know about the milestone so we can represent uh, in this way or uh, we can represent it by a bar chart or gain chart. This representation is usually uh, used to track progress. Here, these bar, these are horizontal bars uh, which are shown against time. So, this one is also a useful uh, way of representing our schedule. Uh, these legends we can show it or hide it and we will see the, uh, it from uh, our p6 schedule and there is uh, another uh, way of representing our schedule which is uh, uh, network diagram uh, network diagram is basically used to show relationship between activities uh, like from here uh, we can see that d will start immediately after uh, start of the project uh, and one, when D is finished, uh, activity F and E will start. Uh, but activity F will start when D and A both are finished. So F will start after uh, activity 4 because A is finishing uh, at day 3 and uh, D is finishing at day 4. So at day 4, A will already be finished. So F will uh, start at uh, day 4, it is uh, at uh, 8 days or hours, here it is not mentioned. Uh, so if it is days, uh, F will start at uh, day 4 and this will finish at uh, day 12 because uh, this one is uh, 8 days activities. So this is network diagram representation of our schedule. And this is a, a sample P6 schedule and this is a network diagram. By clicking here, we can uh, see our network diagram. Filter we will discuss uh, in next topic, inshallah. Let's see this in our Primavera schedule. This one this is our uh, uh, P6 sample schedule. We have prepared it before. Name of this uh, project is G plus one Villa. So these are my milestone. If uh, I want to show only the milestone, I will apply a filter. Filter we will explain uh, later. I will uh, filter it uh, by milestone. By clicking here, it will show only uh, milestones. So all other uh, schedule is now hidden, only filters are shown. Uh, if I want to, now I will uh, filter it back to all activities. Here the relationships are not shown. If I want to show this relationship, I will just simply click uh, here. So relationship lines are now shown here. Uh, 
one way was milestone milestone we have seen here and the other way uh, of representation is uh, bar chart or gantt chart so this is our bar chart and uh, we can also uh, represent it by uh, the third way was a network diagram so this is my network diagram this one is my network diagram practice this when uh, practice this uh, you will learn about lot of things because uh, primavera the best uh, thing uh, you can learn best by practicing it yourself so this is our schedule and now our uh, schedule let's say our schedule is finalized it, it is approved from uh, from clients or consultant or within a company from where your it is needed after approval we will uh, baseline it first we will uh, make uh, a baseline maintain baseline i want to make a baseline of g plus 1 project save a copy of the current project as a new baseline this will save uh, this project as a, a copy of this project as baseline so now i have already created this baseline now i want to assign this baseline to my project to this project assign baseline these these are my hair uh, will be my baseline now i have only one baseline so it comes here g plus 1 g plus 1 we have a project battle baseline to which project you want to assign it i want to assign to the current project user baseline primary now here it is my baseline i will go to bar chart option show legend fi i will show here also the baseline bars which bar i want to show i want to show baseline bar also and actual level of effort i want to remove this bar but i don't need this bar so now we can see here the yellow lines uh, below the red one is uh, baseline line if we change uh, our schedule these yellow lines will not change it will remain the same so we compare our progress uh, with this baseline it means uh, we will compare what was approved and what we are doing from here we will decide our project is good uh, is going in a good way uh, within time within budget or it is over budgeted or it is uh, delaying from here we will decide another way we can we can show uh, critical part of critical part is very important uh, you have to always focus on critical part because if something happen on critical part it can delay your project and so if project is delayed you may uh, face penalties so this is here this is the in this case all the project is on critical part but mostly it doesn't happen on real life projects so so here this is critical part and if you want to see all the project you will better best to all 